Hi guys and welcome to the Coach Mentoring Project. Today we will speak about seven differences between a boss and a leader. Some people might use the terms boss and leader interchangeably, but that's not entirely accurate. The truth is that some bosses are simply that, a boss. They have attained a certain position in the management section of the corporate pyramid. Of course, they will have a nice office, they make decisions that affect the direction, of course, of the company, and often they control also how money is spent. None of that makes them a leader, however. The good news is that the bosses can become leaders, and doing so should become a priority for those who want to effectively lead in a workplace. By learning the key differences and applying them to the job, bosses can become the type of leaders who recruit and retain top talent while also cultivating employee growth and increasing a company's bottom line. So, what characteristics differentiate a boss from a leader? The following represents some key distinctions between the two. Number one, leaders lead bosses push. Leaders motivate their employees, instead bosses tend to push employees instead of direction, directing them. Point two, leaders listen then speak. Good leaders spend time listening to their employees rather than talking about them. Number three, leaders offer equality. Bosses can sometimes pick favorite employee or two of them, which can result in fair treatment, such as devoting more time to certain employees than others giving them more benefits and creating a concrete inner circle inside the company. Good leaders treat everyone equally. Number four, leaders roll up their sleeves when a company launches a major project. True leaders get in the trenches with them, with their teams. Leaders take initiative, while bosses tend to stand aside and supervise just others doing the work. Number five, leaders don't scold. Leaders offer sound advice in a private setting, while bosses tend to scold and may even treat them their employees, which can leave them feeling concerned, embarrassed, and defeated. Point number six, leaders don't need fear. Leaders understand that intimidating employees and attempting to control them with fear will not work in any setting. Fear leads to doubts, poor morale, and productively loss. Smart leaders inspire with trust, enthusiasm, and empathy, and display confidence in their employees to make decisions on their own. Last point, leaders invest time. Some bosses, especially those who have chosen favorites, tend to ignore a majority of their employees. This can give other workers the sense they are drifting with an uncertain future. Leaders don't ignore, they invest time and effort into developing employees in their profession teaching them new skills and helping them advance in their career. These represent some of the differences between boss and a leader. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel YouTube and check our pages Instagram and Facebook Coach Mentoring Project. To get personal mentor sessions or for any clarification or information, check our website coachmentoringproject.et and fill our contact form. Enjoy.